Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my series, My Best Games. And this time it's really not about a best game, but really the most exciting and craziest game I've ever played in my chess career. There were a lot of mistakes on both sides, but I simply have to show you this game because it is really one of the most amazing games I've ever played. And this game was actually annotated by Anish Giri, the Dutch grandmaster, very strong grandmaster uh, player of ELO above 2700 and the absolute world elite and I will refer to his um, annotations from time to time. Actually the, I think he annotated the game for chess wipes and it was named as much fun as possible. So let's have a look. My opponent was Erwin Le Ami and I played the game in Plot Thief in 2012 at the European Championship. So I believe the game happened two rounds after um, the video we have seen before against Tamas Banos, the King's Gambit, if you if you have seen the video. So I was white and I started, as always, with e4, c6. We see the Karakan here and I play the advanced variation where white has on long-term, a long-term space advantage but on the other hand the positions are very complex strategically and just a lot is going on so very deep positions bishop f5 knight f3 e6 bishop e2 we're following a main line here and one main move is here to for black to play with c5 so this is kind of his option he can either play immediately with c5 or he can do it later on so knight e7 castle Bishop g6, knight bd2, so all usual uh, developing moves, knight c8, black obviously is freeing up his bishop, now a4, this is also very typical to gain some space on the queen side here. Also you can see that I'm stopping knight b6, and maybe sometimes white has also options to play with a6 but you have to be careful with that because the pawn might be even lost later so I didn't play this here after castle. So what are both sides actually doing? That's a very good question. <laughs> so black has two ways to attack the white's, white, white's pawn chain. For one he can play with f6 or what he usually does and what he does also in the game play with c5. So what is white doing on the other hand? That's sometimes not so easy to figure out. So in most cases white is playing at some point with c4 himself. And this is what I should have done in the game too but what I did not. Um, to also play in the center. But positions are so complex. So let's follow the game. Knight b3. Knight d7. Now bishop e3, also maybe making it more difficult for black to play c5, a6, and now I played c3 and I actually was still following a game by Geta Kamsky who played this line as well, he played c3 here, but I maybe should play here with c4. And now d takes c4, bishop takes c4, knight a7, and the knight has a very clear route to come to d5. But still, this position is quite interesting because on the one hand, white hasn't any obvious ways to play, but on the other hand, white is enjoying the space advantage, and it's very difficult for black to create any kind of play as well. Even though with the knight on d5, it's always difficult to play c5 for him and he can't really play f6 either. Both moves would really weaken his pawn structure and this makes his position so complex that both sides can't really do as much. Okay. Giri is also suggesting another move here which is knight e1. I think I also considered this move in the game but now black is playing c5 because otherwise I would play the knight here to d3 and then 
he couldn't play c5 anymore so that would be good for me so he plays c5 and now knight takes c5 bishop takes c5 d takes c5 knight takes e5 and i remember i had seen this position and i was not sure what is really happening here because on the one hand i have the bishop pair but on the other hand black is having a center now so it should be around equal here Okay, so I played c3, knight a7, so I'm still following actually my preparation, but my preparation was not that good. He played c5, and that's exactly the right time to play this move, because if he waits one more move, as we have seen it before, I play knight d3, and I'm definitely fine. So c5, and here I probably should have taken on c5 even though it's not really something I would like to do but um, here well position is probably around equal once again because I still followed my preparation I played f4 and I think in the Gatakamski game black took on d4 and then really white well, doesn't have any problems but my opponent played strong he played c4 he he's closing the position on the queen side and now you can see this pawn is too far ahead and he might be lost in many cases on a5 and the question is if i can create any counterplay now on the king side so knight d2 knight c6 so obviously I don't want to lose this pawn right ahead so I played b4 to protect it and if he takes on b3 now on Poisson then I can just play knight takes b3 follow up with c4 and well I'm, I'm fine here definitely so that's good but he plays stronger he plays b6 and obviously he wants to open up the um, the queen side to get play at the queen side so now I played g4 and this was an interesting trap well obviously I'm threatening to win the bishop on g6 by playing f5 so black has to respond in some way and he responded with kind of the automatic move in these variations, in these positions, with f5, but that's a clear mistake. He should have played b takes a5, and there were some variations to calculate, but in the end, black is doing fine. And what was important to see is that after f5, e takes f5, g takes f5, black can now play bishop g5, very strong move. And suddenly, I don't have any way really to keep everything protected it's amazing I mean if I take on g5 he takes back with the queen with check and then takes on f5 so that doesn't work and if I play for example knight g2 then he takes on e3 plays queen g5 check and again I cannot hold everything together so the best chance for me is to play knight takes c4 here and after d takes c4 now I have to move queen d2 and I will win this piece on g6 but in this position um, black is clearly better or slightly better between slightly and clearly better well he's now attacking the rook and the next move he's taking on b4 he has a nice square on d5 and also my king is rather weak so this is what he should have done but he played f5 and I would say we do a short break and we'll see what was my trap in the next video. See you right then.